Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Well, there was a New Year's Day earthquake by O'Neill, Nebraska, a magnitude 2.1, probably larger. Has me a little concerned because of the reawakening of some of these ancient fault lines. Those of you that follow me know about these ancient fault lines that run through this area um, about the failed rift zone um, that comes all the way down from Michigan yeah where the continent originally was going to separate there's been over 51 earthquakes throughout recent history that have been felt there in Nebraska and this 2.9 like I said it was probably larger was more than likely part of the Ord escarpment Ord escarpment down here we down here we have the Grand Island and the Platte River. In 1887 there was a magnitude over 5 earthquake and studying the geology like I do uh, many of these areas you see the uh, areas of water and what looks like blowholes sand blown up from you know the ground during a major earthquake. These are all indication of an area capable of having large earthquakes. I want to look over here if you look at this it's like oh my goodness wow yeah kind of like what happened on the uh, new Marid fault line. Using Google Earth zooming into the areas yeah um, blowholes sand blowholes Once you understand what they are, they're easily identified. See the areas, circled areas of sand? On March 28th, 1964, there was a magnitude 5.1 that was reported in Van Tessel, Wyoming, and was felt throughout this area. Um, South Dakota also, Nebraska. There's also an area called the Humboldt Fault. You can see that there. That fault line was responsible for the largest earthquake in Kansas history with the 1867 Manhattan Kansas earthquake. They didn't have the Richter scale back then and they figure it was a magnitude 5.5. Earthquakes in this area are relatively rare. Six of the eight most significant earthquakes were before even the um, Richter scale was even invented. You know, once in a while here in South Dakota, I feel a little rumble. They're asking people who felt this earthquake to report it to USGS. It was probably larger. Here we got 3.30, 3.0, 3.09, 0, 3.0. I'm not sure of the locations, 3.15, you know, etc. Here's a map of those that did report feeling this earthquake. We got Holt Creek and then a little bit farther in this direction is Dry Creek, I believe it is. Yeah, it makes me a little uneasy to think these ancient fault lines are waking up. Now the Ord and Scampman, they don't believe that's part of a, a fault line, an ancient fault line according to USGS. Um, some believe it is and others believe it's not so it's all up to interpretation so did you feel this earthquake if so what did it feel like did you have damage did anything fall off the shelves was uh, there noticeable shaking please uh, please put your comments down below thank you for subscribing thank you for your support please stay safe and I'll talk to you later God bless you bye